and finally one person mm. who's in their area of speciality yes. <laughs> yeah. we've had engineers who are comedians and stuff like that finally we have somebody who studied theater <laughs> arts who is in theater and practice arts. practicing yeah so Fantastic. for me yeah that's why yeah. i i exist um um nollywood isn't an accident for me um i've had experiences on radio as a presenter worked with uh, Federal Radio Nigeria, I worked with NTA, uh, uh, the headquarters here in Lagos, Bender Broadcasting Service and several other uh, theater um, organizations. We've had street performances, we've performed in marketplaces and all of that. So for me, Nollywood just came as a bigger opportunity for me to uh, when we go through the stage, you just round up whatever performance you're putting up right there and then, and that's over. But when the movies came and started uh, garnering this kind of um, publicity and huge followership in Nigeria, I also find this is where to be. And for 23 years, this is where I've been. Oh. 23 years. But you see, you, ch you shoot most of your videos in a state. Why? <laughs> well... I was barely four years old in Lagos when I had the funds to make my first, like, this is going to be my work, fund a film, 1999. I took it to Benin. I am so passionate about where I come from in Nigeria, the way I'm passionate about Nigeria in the whole of Africa and Africa from the rest of the world. Um, I just feel too many things seem to be happening in Lagos. Other people that are from other places also need, and this should also go to the government, how we can encourage some of these actions to take place in some other parts other of places. Nigeria. But where do you live? I live in Lagos. My family is in Lagos. <laughs> I live in Lagos. When, uh, most, when you want to shoot, you, when I, I, I take, you go back I, home. I, I go back, no, I go back home. Let's also contribute our own little quota to developing where we come from that is how we can spread the wealth that's what how we can spread uh, the business of entertainment and spread the business entirely so when uh, you do this your shoot in a state you also use some of the extra you pick from the locals as extras um, uh, outside the the, uh, the big big faces the big big stars we take from here and some key crew members mm. uh, a lot uh, come from there we also have uh, a functioning film school right now the Benin film academy is going to train uh, 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 people in various aspects of the craft uh, of the of the business of um, filmmaking. Are so you a resource person there? Yes, 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 yes. It's uh, in collaboration with uh, with uh, Ibinedo University okay. uh, right now. We they just called me up. I wanted to develop the entrepreneurial department of the university and felt the filmmaking should be an area. And I was contacted by them to for us to collaborate in this. Uh, I, I think. Maybe in time, the government there will begin to value this initiative of pushing some of these things over there. We're talking about youth restiveness in Niger Delta. We're talking about uh, unemployment, uh, the rate of unemployment in all of these areas. I, I think uh, this is one area, especially the instrumentality of, uh, of um, entertainment, the, 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 the music, uh, movies, comedy, all of these areas actually contributing massively now to the social uh, economic growth of our country okay so yeah. in a, you are one of you say then that the movie industry has um gone a long way it's blow zoned. would you say it's approaching its peak no peak no we've not even started we've mm. not even started i predicted this some time ago when it was just purely from uh, the production studio to dvd we studied that realized time Nigerian films were involved. Then there was even no cinema that gradually will go to go to be screen. And like right now, we've had our films on the 27th. My latest movie, uh, Lovebird, is screening in uh, AMC's uh, cinema in, in Atlanta, where it was shot. Um, it's going to Canada. Lovebirds. Lovebirds, yeah. Several other of Nollywood films are now beginning. You, you, you don't can imagine the feeling when you get to some huge cinema edifice 
around the world and you have your film screen. Hammersmith Audion. <laughs> <laughs> the Audion Cinema in, in, in London and several other huge um, um, uh, cinema places where your films are screened. So we have not even started. Somebody made Black Panther. Black Panther from, from record has sold over 700 million naira in Nigeria. That is another discussion. In Nigeria alone, in Nigeria, I'm sure right now is the highest selling film in Nigeria. Um, uh, wedding party and uh, some of this AY stuff needs, he, uh, was leading in that direction. But I just heard from a friend that uh, Black oh, Panther made that much. Is the story different from what we're telling here? No. But the kind of finance, the kind of support, the kind of environment where such film is made is what is lacking here. And uh, the, 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 the passion. Before, when we make a film, we're taking it abroad, they say, oh, you got to subtitle it. They don't hear you when you speak. They don't hear your kind of English. But not anymore. I always argue with them. Let them strain to hear our kind of English. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> While they we are strain to hear this. <laughs> While they are straining, we need to take a quick break and return. Please don't go away. <laughs> Assumptions, some of the social services because you gotta do it because uh, uh, it's your business. Basic principle is a story about um, an oil. Jenny, Jenny is a lively person. She's fun to be with um, when she walks into a room she lights up the whole room and she loves to love and she has this thing with the hand It's a story that revolves around stardom um, and that's against the odds of uh, so many of us in the industry. Uh, see you on Miriam, take one. Action. Yeah, Okay. Uh, see you Yes, No. See, madam. The most wanted OAP in Africa. So I played the mischievous sister who um, is close to her brother and um, loves money a lot. <laughs> She'll stop at nothing to gain from every situation she finds herself in. It's funny, I didn't really make money from this journey. I should go to marry my brother, wow. I guess Hello. they both have a lifetime together of giving me oh. money. 